Hey guys, I'm back. And today I have for you a brown cardboard box. Came home from work today, had this mystery box sitting on my front porch from Ubisoft. And like quite a number of other people, I did order the Ghost Recon Wildland Collector's Edition. And while I got a phenomenal statue, I never actually got my game. So I reached out to Ubisoft. Uh, they did a lot to try and help me out. But there's really just not a whole lot they're really able to tell me, it seems. So I got a code for the standard edition of the game. And since then, I've really just been waiting um, for any more information at all. So I know a few folks have received these backpacks online. Uh, there's been a few posts, and I'm pretty sure that's what this is as well. Thought you guys might like to see that, so we'll tear in here and see what's inside. Starting off, lots of brown paper. More brown paper. And more brown paper. Alright guys, so big brown box, lots of brown paper, but more importantly my gold edition of Ghost Recon Wildlands, so very happy to get that finally, and a very cool backpack. So we'll take a closer look at that here in a second. Uh, there's also an apology letter here. It says, we sincerely apologize that you did not receive your copy of Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands game with your collector's edition. We recently converted our back-end e-commerce system and a warehouse configuration error caused your collector's edition to be shipped without the game. We've corrected our system. You can rest assured this incident will not take place again. As a valued customer, please accept the enclosed gift as a token of our appreciation for your business. We regret any inconvenience this delay has caused you. Sincerely, the Uplay Shop. So, first and foremost, very well done. Uh, you know, issues, having mistakes, errors, whatever, things like this happen in business and everything in life, really. Um, but it's how you deal with them, how you recover from them, that really, really matters. As soon as I contacted them, Ubisoft gave me a code for the standard edition of the game. Not the gold, but hey, at least I can play the game in the meantime while I get this sorted out. Now that it's sorted out, not only do I get an apology in my game, I also get a really, really cool backpack. And this isn't a throwaway item. I believe this thing retails for like 60, 70 bucks in Canada. Um, it feels really good. You know, this is a solid piece and a very, very nice gesture. Uh, just for them to go out of their way and do that, hey, we made a mistake. It affected Ghost Recon customers. Here's a great, you know, uh, branded piece of merchandise we're also selling. Why don't we give them one by way of an apology? Because these people have made a significant purchase, right? I mean, there's varying versions of this at varying price points. Uh, U.S. and Canada obviously differing. But this costs over $200 here in Canada. So that's not, that's not cheap. I don't regret it. It was a great collector's edition. I'm sure I'll love the game. I like what I've played so far. Um, but that, that's a big purchase for people. So this kind of thing goes a long way. If this is any indication of how Ubisoft is going to treat their customers when they encounter you know, this type of problem, uh, great, <laughs> expect to see me on your store again, right? So anyway, enough about that. Let's take a look at this bag. This is very cool. I don't expect that there's anything else inside here, but there is the chance for some additional name tags, I think. So maybe we'll just take a look inside here. All right, so now I'm done exploring in here. Um, very, very cool bag. You open it up inside and actually has the little skull icon, logo, whatever, print, all uh, printed inside, which is actually a very cool touch. Lots of little compartments in here too. There's like a sleeve for a laptop or a tablet, little pouches, things like that. And then uh, you do get additional name tags. So you've got tags for all the ghosts and you can swap those out on the back of the bag here. I mean, there's only one spot for them really. I mean, technically two, I guess, if you want to get creative. Um, but really there's, there's just the one. So swap it out for your uh, character ghost of choice. Uh, the only really weird design choice here is actually up on the side where there's just a little flap that when you raise has the awesome Ghost Recon logo. Um, but, but you're covering it up and that skull is great. So I think the reality is there's a hole in here to run your headphone cable out and you can close it when you're not using it or what have you. Um, but that's really odd because that is such a cool design and it's unfortunately covered up most of the time. But again, awesome, awesome piece. Thank you very much Ubisoft for this. I think that's a fantastic gesture once again. All right, guys. Well, that's it for me. As always, thank you very much for checking this out. I look forward to making more videos for you soon and I'll see you then. Thanks.